as you probably saw from the title, today's video is all about Nottingham Craft Beer Festival and I'm queuing to get in and I'm stupidly excited. So I can't wait to be in there. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm in uh, and I'm going to take you for a wonder in a minute and show you all the wonderful things around but I'm going to get myself a beer uh, and I've spotted North Brewing Co. So I'm going to start with them. North Brewing. Uh, you know, uh, not a brewery I've ever tried anything from before uh, and this is all about trying some different stuff. So I think we are going to go with that. TFG Mango. And we're going to have half of that straight in from there. So here we go. So, first beer of the day, yeah. North Brewing Co. It is the uh, Triple Fruited Goes Mango. Uh, £3.65 for a half, so this one's very reasonably priced uh, compared to a lot of the stuff in here. Very, very reasonable. And, oh, honestly, that, that is superb. That is really, really good. So, yeah, if you're not familiar with North Brew, uh, North Brewing Co., come and check them out. They've got a, a good little selection on, uh, and yeah, very reasonably priced. So, uh, not a, a bank breaker to start the day. So I am. I'm very impressed in my uh, my first choice. 4.5% uh, uh, mango, pineapple, lime. It's a really good way to uh, to break in. But let's show you some of the uh, some of the stands. Just round the corner from there, as you come in, you will find. As I said I'm sure these are familiar to many. Brew York, a wonderful selection of cans uh, and everything else going on. They've recently done a lager uh, called Cami's Unbelievable which obviously is uh, 40 euros with Chris Kamara, the legend that is Chris Kamara. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sample one of those, one of those next while we're in New York. Let's finish this and get on it. So yeah, while I'm here, I said it's, it's football themed, isn't it? I couldn't not try a football theme, even though it's lager. Couldn't not try, and I know, I know, I know, all the wonderful craft beers on offer around here and I'm trying a lager. But it's football themed, uh, and I, I couldn't not. Brew York never really missed today with anything they do. There's a, there's a banana smoothie sour on there that I'm bound to uh, come back to. But let's try the camis. Yeah, you know what? That's a really decent lager. I love Chris Kamara. The guy's a legend. And that, honestly, if you want to come, if you want to come down and have a lager, you won't go wrong with that one. That's one of the uh, that's one of the best lagers I've had in a while. Well played, Brew York. No further, I've wandered along to local heroes. I mean, literally, they're two minutes from my house, so I could not stop here. Good on. Liquid lights, said you're, you're dead familiar with these already. Craig has convinced me to go with Spaceball Ricochet. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's super. Oh, honestly, yeah, again. Like these guys, the, the, the tap room, if you never into the tap room up in, up in Stenham, it's, it's so worth it. These guys are awesome. There are some amazing, just the psychedelic colours always do me anyway, but look, there are some absolutely wicked choices and stuff on here. And we'll put Mark in the video, because Mark's here, Mark's a follower. He can watch himself tomorrow. I mean, look, it's enough to, the tie-dye is enough to send me, I, I love it. Beatles fans will obviously recognise some of the names of the beers they have. But yeah, up on row two, make sure you don't miss coming to see Liquid Light, and I can highly recommend now Spaceball Ricochet. Keep going. So just having a, having a seat to write me notes or whatever. So uh, New England Pale, 4.8% Spaceball Ricochet from Liquid Light. Honestly, this is melting. What a great beer this is. Liquid Light are amazing, obviously dead local, from Stenton, which is where we are, Stenton Market, where the Craft Beer Festival is. Honestly, go and give these guys a try, you'll love it. Right, three for three on beers so far, absolute bangers. Um, and I've come around to my boys, Fire Rock from Sunday National that have got some absolute belters on. I stand by it, Fire Rock gave me one of the best sours I have ever tasted before. I stand by, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I stand by it and I'm gonna leave my fate in their hands with this. So there's so many on here that I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here you are. Let's give me a glass, yeah. Give me a glass. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. That's the best sour. Yeah, well, oh, stupid. I let I don't. Oh, Vault City. Sour, no, oh. That's next. That's next one. Oh, oh stupid. Oh. I've never had it, but I've heard I've heard the stories. Oh my god. Oh. oh. I dread to think where we're going with this. What, what are we having? I'm having this Lost Boys one, I? Death no, by no, Stereo. No, I can see him. Here we are. So we're going in here. Death. By stereo. What, what, what? I think he's doing, he's doing whatever he's giving me, I think. So, bless you. 
I'm looking, I'm looking forward to so I'm thinking it's this, but yeah, some uh, fire rock obviously, yeah, based in Sutton and Ashfield. Absolutely phenomenal little brewery that should be a lot more well known than they are. So it's lovely to see them here. And I can't wait for this to come. The anticipation, look at, look at this. <laughs> so this is Death by Stereo. Yeah. Look at that. So here we are. So yeah, Black Breek, Raspberry, Strip, Ben Slesson at that. Look at, here we go. Right, if, if, if this is the end of me, this is all on you. Here we are. Right, try it. Oh, oh. Boys, you've outdone yourselves again. That. Right, want a sour? Get down here and try that. Death by Stereo from Fire Rock. 6.8%, oof, sterling. From Sutton, uh, again, to just down the road, Meadow Lane, uh, Notts County football ground, obviously Magpie Brewery. Ah, uh, Notts County, and I've gone for you. Coming at this, Crimble Crumble. So anybody, again, fans of Friday night dinner, will know that one, won't they? A sour. Here it is. Very, very good colour again. Another sour on. So they are, again, they are coming into their own, uh, much like Blue Monkey Brewery, uh, they are following the craft beer route and stuff now, Magpie. Coming coming into the into modern time. Uh, a brand a brand update, loads of new sort of ways of doing their beers. And this, Crimble Crumble, I love it, very much. Give Magpie a shout. Look who's here. Ah, here he is. Here he is. Welcome back, Russ. Russ won't drink beer. But I am, I'm trying, I'm trying to find something to Russell drink. So, uh, what, we're five in, so we've done Liquid Light, Magpie, North, Fire Rock, and Brew York. So we're off to somewhere that I have never had a beer from before in my life. So let's have a wander through and see what that's gonna be. Go for a, go for a newbie. Uh, so Brew York are there, we've got Brew Tavern, but I, I said we know I've had many a, many a time at Brew Taverns, we've done that. We can't stop at North because we started with it. So this is what I said, so mango, pineapple and lime was what I started with. And that was, uh, that was pretty magic. Pretty magic. It's a ghost. Honestly, trying to, uh, trying to educate Russ on, uh, on stuff is difficult. So I've never had anything from, I can't even say it, Tartarus. Tartarus. I've never had anything from Tartarus. Yes? Introduce yourself on the video so they can follow you. Right. I'm uh, not beer selfies here yet, and I can vouch Tartarus quality brewery. And if they want to follow you on Instagram, because your Instagram's pretty damn cool, I had a look the other day. Fine. Andros underscore beer underscore selfies. Andros beer selfies. It's a pretty cool Instagram. It's cooler than mine. He actually posts like stuff on his. So, yeah, it's, much, it's much better than mine. So, I'm, right, we're going to go with Tartarus then. And we're going to see what we have. We've gone with Tartarus and we've gone with Thunderbird. So it is Hazy IPA at 6.6. .6. So, you know, I started sensible. So give me that at least. I started sensible and now we're going. Russ has got himself a beer. What have you got, Russ? Mango pineapple and lime. You've got one of one. So this is the, the beer that I started with. This yeah. is a man who doesn't drink beer. Go on, Russ. Not the worst in the world. Honestly, that's like a, that's like a five star review off someone like Russ. So let's, uh, let's try this. Hazy IPA. Oh, oh. Tartarus have uh, I've got a new fan. That's very, very good. Tartarus was uh, pretty damn cool, to be honest. Uh, again, new brewery on me. So it's all about coming here and trying new things, isn't it? But I said I was going to come back tonight. I? I was going to come back to Tint Meadows stuff. Suggest, suggest me one. Got it? The, the, uh, the, what were we going? The Trappist. Strong Dark Ale. So we're going with this then. Just a third, please. Tim Meadow Original Strong Dark Ale. Said I've tried these boys once. I said it was absolutely banging. So we're doing Tim Meadow. That's stop number. We're on number seven. So I've got another 20, you know, another 25 to get for. I need to pick my pace up, but you know, we'll get on with it. The other guys, yeah, the Trappist Ale, the ones that are all brewed by uh, by the monks. Uh, just down the road, like literally, only, only probably 20 miles from where we are now. Uh, in Nottingham, yeah, Trappist, Trappist Ale. So if you've never heard of a Trappist Ale, look them up. Tint Meadow is the brewery, uh, and I've got it here. So 7.4, dark one this is, and it's, you can taste the fact that it's 7.4, but honestly, it's really good. If you've never had a Trappist Ale, you don't know what one is, look it up, you won't be disappointed. Right, I'm gonna get one more in before the launch of the uh, the mega, the mega stuff. 
from uh, Emperors. So, uh, I'm going to come up here and we are going to go with Rock and Thornbridge. Let me, uh, let's, go, let's go in Castle Rock. Let's go Castle Rock. Here we are, boys. How are we doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, very well. You was in my pub the other day, but I was not there. <laughs> King's Head. I wasn't the King's Head. Yes, yes. Ah, thank you. I'm so sorry that we took all glasses outside and caused, the, uh, caused mayhem. Might have been me. Probably was me. Probably was me. Right, I'll try to get around everybody. Tell me, do me a third of the... You've got a sour on. Son of a peach. Son of a peach. Son of a peach. Like cherry size on? Yeah, I think, mate, I, I think, yeah. Look at him, he's, try, he's trying so much to find a beer he'll like. <laughs> try, try mine, try mine, mate. So, uh, so if, as I said, we're with, we're with Castle Rock. Son of a peach. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. We, we're going to try and get Russ while he likes. We're going to drink this. Son of a peach from Castle Rock is so good, even Russ is going to have a third. That's how good that is. If even Russ will have a third or something, then, uh, you know, it's gotta be good. God bless you. Right, honestly, Castle Rock, Nottingham, Nottingham staple. I love Castle Rock Brewery. I love all their pubs. Nottingham. Nottingham Massive. Son of a peach, good sour. We're at an exclusive uh, Emperor's first pour. It's 8 p.m. Whiskey and Wart. With Emperor's Brewery, uh, I said we've been waiting for these. There has been a, uh, oh, I've been, uh, I've been looking forward to these all day ever since they announced on Facebook that these bad boys were coming. It was a case of I need to get here and I need to try these bad boys. So literally, that you heard the chanting. These have just dropped. Emperor's is amazing. Every single beer I've ever had from Emperor's, they, said they know their stout. They know their stout, and they make the best stouts going. And this, first pause. I'm, I'm stupidly excited. I am, I'm stupidly excited. I'm stupidly excited for days, so. Technological terror. Technological terror, and this, this is, comes in at 14, 13. Yeah, and beast been trapped. Technological terror. Woo! Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Once again, Emperor's Brewery do not miss. Um, no, it will not suffice for you. And this one is called. Best bin, best bin trap. Best bin trap. Best, best bin trap. Do you know the ABVs? Honestly, it's like going to an amateur five. You're like, oh, you, you lot, right? Best bin trap. Oh my good lord! Whiskey aged barrels of and you can. Oh, the whiskey aftertaste. The uh, the whiskey, honestly, the whiskey aftertaste. The whiskey, the whiskey comes through on the aftertaste. You don't get it. You don't get that on the first sip. But trust me, you get it on the uh, you get it on the aftertaste. Wow. Um, wow. Um, oh. Honestly, get down get down here for for yeah, emperors. Uh, these two. Bloody hell, the whiskey aftertaste, the emperors don't miss, they don't miss that. They are, um, they are something else. They are something else. I'll be honest, um, those two stats, the, the whiskey on the tones and, and the way they, they hit like nothing else, they really, they, they hit home. Emperor don't miss. If you want a stout, look up Emperor Brewing. They do not miss, amazing. Right, gonna go and have one from Dweeb. Yeah, I said what I said. Stupidly, I said I was gonna try something more sensible, so, and, and Reckless Dweeb heard me. So this, uh, this, 
but it's all kinds of absolute magic. Honestly, that is amazing! <laughs> Imperial Roulade desserts now. To toffee and pecan. I want one of these shirts, but I couldn't pull it off. I couldn't pull it off. I can barely pull off a grey hoodie, so right. Honest oh my word. 13.9%. Right, come on, so, so it's right by Emperor's and Bunny Elephant up here on a on corner. And it's magic. I'm a million miles behind because I went uh, I went reckless to Eve and that was amazing. So, I'm a million miles behind. We've got so much to get through. And I mean so much to get through. So let's just work our way along and see what we get to. So we're gonna go next next one along. Pomona Islands. We've got some uh, we've got some wicked stuff on here, lads. Sir, I want a third of. Suggest me your. Give me your best. Give me your best. Best. Give me your best. <laughs> right. What do you want me to advertise to four million people tomorrow? What do you want me to advertise to four million people? What are we having? So What's it? This is a beer we make. Uh, we made it nine times. We make it for our. Uh, what is it? It's, it's called a Buki Nine. It's this a, one here, right? We're going in here. It's an IPA. It's not sour. It's made with easy fruit though. Lovely, lovely. A ton of sriracha. So it's limey, orangey flavours, coconut, bit of dill, it's a bit mass, a bit lime. I like the sound of this. So we're, we're in here with this. Uh, we have a see Buki. We're going with this. Come along, right? Here we go. So Ibuki. Yuzu IPA. Right, right, honestly, uh, these guys are some. Lovely. That, that's a nice colour as well, though, isn't it? You can tell over the beer, you can, you can tell those stouts a bit, mate. But, right, we're going to try and work our way along now. We're going to try and get through everything as quickly as we possibly can and come back to my list later. So, uh, right, we're on the Ibuki from Pride Island. Oh, that's lovely. 6.5%. That's lovely. Honestly, that's great. No, super. That's great. He was confident, wasn't he? He was, he was confident anyway. Honestly, that's really good. That's banging. So right, right, round uh, the back of Emperors, you, you'll find Motor Island. Come and check this one out. That's absolutely banging. Store two, Paloma, Siren. Told you earlier that I absolutely love these guys. I've had some of their cans. Love. And so we're going with this. Siren shirt dream. I said, I asked. I said, sit me. Set me something as a challenge that you all be confident in your ability of. And this is where we've gone, Shirt of Dream, Imperial Breakfast Stout. A third at 350 is a, it's a really good value for that, isn't it? Really good value for that. Siren Buka, you'll find them next to Pabona. I'm looking forward to this. Shirt of Dream. Hey, we all like a wrestling reference. But it wasn't named after a wrestling reference. But honestly, an Imperial Breakfast Stout, that is at, yeah, 9.6% as well. You ain't gonna go wrong with this. This is very tasty, it's very, very good. So right next to Bummer Island, right down from Emperor's. Uh, it, honestly, you've got a little run of stouts along here. You really ain't gonna go wrong. Uh, lovely fellas that run this. This is a, this is the top little place to come and check out. Uh, if, you're here, if you're here Saturday, rough it. Right, check this one out. Right, we, um, honestly, that was, that was phenomenal. We're still trying to get through. I'm trying to get through everything. And I'm well behind. I'm well behind on my time. I'm well behind on my time, so I'm at Black Iris. I'm at Black Iris Brewery, and you know, I said you know the love I have for Black Iris Brewery. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me glass over, and I'm gonna say a third off whatever you want me to promote. It, I mean, it's red. <laughs> it's red. That looks good. It already looks good to me. Third of that. Wonderful. I'll happily pay for that. That sounds that's very, very good. Tell me what tell me what we got. We know I'm running out of time, so I'm working my way through and I stopped as you know at Black Iris Brewery. And this was called Remorseless. I have no remorse for drinking this because it is amazing. And everything, honestly, everything these guys do is absolutely belting. So if, 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 honestly, if you're up here at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival, or if you're just looking online, look up Black Iris Brewery, and you will not go wrong, whether it, it be stouts, sours, whatever you want to do, look up Black Iris Brewery, and you won't be disappointed. 
that's a belter. Right, I'm running out of time. I've got an hour. Uh, an hour till the apparently end of the beer festival. There's so many more to get around. Uh, Black Iris though, honestly, yeah. Search them out. Let's go and <laughs> that's all we can find. Let's get through as many as we can. So let's go to a new one of me. Uh, left handed giant brewing. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get from left handed giant brewing. Because uh, so I'm well beyond. Once again, so we're going for a third of, here we go, Dream House. So this is left handed giant brewing. That looks good to me. That is good to me. Challenge the lady and she delivers, honestly. That's pretty damn good. So these are at the, uh, the third quarter of the, the thing. I like it. Realisation, that's it, that I'm not gonna get around everywhere, am I? So let's try and do something new one. So left hand and giant. That, left hand giant is really, that is really, really good. So let's try and find some new ones and we'll move on from there. Right, we are already well and truly at the point where I know I am not making it around every single brewery that was here tonight. So we're going to try and do some new ones, ones that I don't necessarily know. And we are going to now move from there to McCall's. McCall's Brewery. See what I've got. My thing is, sometimes it introduces people to new beers. Isaac is Isaac has been convinced to drink. So we're in with El Capitan. Isaac, let's do a, let's do a, a blind uh, we'll taste test. Let's do a blind taste test. Isaac is a lager drinker. I give it a seven point eight. So, so you would you would happily drink that? I'd happily drink that. Isaac is head. Isaac is stood here. Isaac is a lager drinker. He's had an El Capitan from these guys, and he's given that a seven point eight out of ten. This is why. This is why I do what I do. This is why I try and convince Bill drink something different. Try them. You know what, Isaac's get. Isaac's a fucking legend, mate. Yeah. Call the flag him up. I, 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 honest, I, I quite like Sal. I am, um, yeah, uh, good chemistry brewing. They're, they're, they're sound, obviously, this is nice. They're inflexible on uh, the third or half. Most people that are in the festival now want to want to sample something. They want a third. They want a half. Uh, they're not very flexible on the third side of it. So it's a, it's a bit of a shame. So, yeah, so that's good chemistry brewing, but next along from good chemistry brewing is Rivington Bronco, which is again absolutely new to me. I know absolutely nothing of these. So we're about to follow them on Facebook and that's that sound from Rivington. Rivington brew. Um, that's good. Actually, yeah, very good. So we've got about 10 minutes. I'm not gonna make it around all. But that's very good. I don't understand why they haven't got a Facebook page, but it'll get out of me a bit. Um, yeah, I don't understand why they haven't got a Facebook page, but uh, we've got 10 minutes or so there, so let's try Mad Squirrel. So you can find these at www.madsquirrel.uk. Plenty of uh, no offerings on. Let's try something up here. Well, I'm not far off, I'm not far off then, but Mad Squirrel up next. So, went for, yeah, we go, uh, no, no, went for Rocky Road over there, so, good stuff in here now, and it's, a, it's like a beer truck at the end. I say it's very good, that's very, very good. Down, let's try and get to at least one more before we go. Yeah, yeah Mad Squirrel at the end. Uh, very worth for coming up. I think the question is, did you have a good time at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival? I think the answer is yes, isn't it? I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna swing that by anybody and say I did have a good time at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. It was, it was, it was amazing. So, next year. we Yeah, that was me almost all over. Uh, yeah, the, the best thing to do is have a good time at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Buy a ticket early. Come in. I'm gutted though, I didn't get round to all the breweries that I wanted to. But that, that was the best beer festival I went to. So. Uh, that was by far the best beer festival I've ever been to. 
Emperor's Brewery is one of the uh, the worst brewers I've ever fucking come across. Like li literally, they. He's do... lying. He's lying. Hey, which one's the worst? He is lying like hey. shit. Emperor's Brewery is one of the best, one of the best brewers I've ever come across. And now, and now we're gonna go up the road and continue the night. However, please, please, and bang the elephant. However, please stop following the video now. I love you. Hit subscribe. Never speak of this again. Right, the beer festival is by and truly done. We're off to the King's Head, Castle Rob Pub, You know, we finished the, um, fish the crawl for all with this, don't we? So it's one of those where you go there when it's, Right, I'll always say to you, I go to the absolute dumps so that you don't have to. That's what I'll always say. You watch, watch my videos. I go to the shit so that you don't have to go there. Thank God we've come to the King's Head. This is a wicked bub.